always amazed when you look up at something and you go, wow, there's no way we're getting up there. And then like you start chipping away at it and then you turn back and you look down and you go, holy smokes, man. Yeah, that's a long way. <laughs> you know? It's all about chipping away. It's chipping totally. about two o'clock in the afternoon saw a buck down low we circled around for about an hour class along the valley along the way and kind of sit here till dark and just class we've got almost 270 degree view of some good area giant rocks down there in the shadow. Been looking really hard just down this creek bottom and we've just spotted spotted what looks like a good mature buck. Um, he's just by himself. He's in an elevated position. He can see a lot of country and he's just bedded, bedded in the shade on the cold side. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, 1150 yards, so it's it's a ways there, and it, it looks like a mature buck, probably around the nine inch mark, so we'll um, try and close some ground, get a bit closer. Is that his white butt? Yeah, just to the right of that. Okay, Mike, I'm on, I'm on the target. I just need to dial up, give me some yardage here. Okay, 633. 10.2 minutes. 10.2. 10.2 right. minutes. All right, I'm at 10.2. Okay, no wind. All right, I got him. He's quartered away. I see the grass kind of in his, Yep. up around his neck, and he's like chewing it right now. I see him coming a little bit out, and he's starting to pick up it, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, just give it, a, give it a nice squeeze. Okay. All right, here we go. Nailed it. <laughs> Good <Boom. one. laughs> Hey, that Woo. fog cleared out just in time. Huh? Man, the fog just kind of spread. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Popped out. Awesome. Good job. Thanks, bro. <laughs> All that work, eh? That was a lot of work, bro. You know, it seems like the smaller the horns, the more work they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about right? it. Right? Yep. Yeah, that was cool, man. All right, well, with this cloud rolling in, um, we didn't have long till dark, so we called um, James with the helicopter to come pick us up and so we went and recovered the buck from the nice, shore point. Man. Back here saved us a 1200 yard walk, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Great, hey, job, thank man. you man. Great he's, teamwork. Yeah, he's a beautiful Great buck. teamwork, man, he's beautiful. Really nice. My gosh. See the back stripe on them, so yeah. neat. It's awesome, man. Yeah. Good. That's crazy, man. Really nice. We worked hard buck. all day for this thing, man. Yeah. Uh, pretty cool hunt with Randy. Worked his butt off today up Thanks, the mountains. Man. And uh, man, he, he hit pay dirt right here at the closing of the day, so. Pretty special when you got two guys that believe in taking the shot at 620 in a situation like we had today with the clouds coming in and out. And you know, it's, uh, it's, it's an honor to be out here with these guys. This is a great day, man. Thank you guys.
these boys have been seeing a pretty well they've seen two stags over here that they really got their eye on we we went back to the lodge for breakfast this morning looking across they I think they might have seen one of them so we're just making a quick run on them uh, like Joe said we're just gonna take our time and just kind of work our way through these clearings and see if we can't pick him up. Back at it this morning. Hunting the other side of the block. This is a nice big stag down there. I'm guessing 460, 480 inch. Big crown, wide. Um, Jeff really wants something with heavy, big heavy crowns. So it's just getting the right angle on the stag. He's sitting sideways to us. So it's sort of hard to see at the moment. But we have got times, so we'll wait. But um, yeah. Oh, no, no. The decision is whether to shoot or not to shoot. The decision is whether to shoot or not to shoot. I mean, even though this is a state type hunting, I mean, it's no, uh, it's no Sunday school picnic. The stag that Jeff's holding out for it sounds like they haven't seen him this year except for yesterday. So, and then this morning. So, other. Than, so now he's like, well, is he going to be out this morning, tomorrow morning, tonight? Or should I shoot this one? <laughs> he's in a tight spot. I just don't want to be rushed on Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I've got to get this and then we don't see either of these two. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> would you shoot that one on the last day? Oh, absolutely. All right. Plus, my kids would be so disappointed if I passed that thing up. <laughs> Get up, look through the scope. Yeah, let's set it up down there. Because the scope's higher power, yeah. and you be able to zoom in on them. Yeah, Get a closer look at them. You see him? Yeah, he's looking right at us. I'm just going to wait. He's got branches in the way. Oh, looks like he's gonna get up. Okay. Yep, there he is. As soon as he clears that other one. Yeah. Ready? As soon as he steps away from that other one, stick it to him. Okay. All right, there he is. Slow down. Did it? Yeah. <coughs> Did you get pretty excited? Yeah, I was pretty excited. <laughs> Just like When's the last time you shot something at 100 yards? Oh man, a piece of paper maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. Wow. Hey, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. <laughs> Good job. Cool. It worked out really good. We were actually sitting inside the lodge having some breakfast. <laughs> and uh, Joe comes running in the house, says he spotted a, a good one and we need to come look at it. And so once we went outside and put the spot and scope on it and got a look at it, it was definitely something that we were, I was interested in and wanted to get a closer look at. And had plenty of time to really think about it and try to make the right call. And with something like this, kind of being a once in a lifetime opportunity, I want to make sure that it was the one that I wanted it to take and <laughs> yeah it's not like what you'd imagine you know we when you get here you hear how beautiful New Zealand is and you know it's how green it is but you never really anticipated walking through like a jungle and on the way up there I mean it's like literally a jungle like <laughs> it's just crazy how to how much growth is in there and how these animals are living in there and you literally feel like yeah, it just, it's a different part of the world. It's, it was awesome.
we flew in and got camp all set up and we just uh, ditched our bags and came up here on top of this flat rock and we've been up here for 20 minutes and um, spotted a bull about 450 yards away just just in the thick brush just kind of making his way up through there we don't know what kind of bull he is yet but 480 yards it's pretty brushy though i mean he's in and out of the brush uh, he'll have to come out and, and stay out for a little while get a good look at him and if he's good get a shot at him Right at about 485, 490 yards where he's going to clear. We've just got to be careful to shoot him in a spot we can recover him. That basin's all right because if we shoot him there we can, put, we can recover him there. We don't want to lose him in this real steep stuff. But I want to get a good look at him first. He's just feeding his way up. He's going to clear. You see him? Mike, he's feeding up the back of that ridge and behind that, that hump, I think he's gonna clear. At the top of it? Yeah, at the top where it flattens out, which that's a good recovery spot too. It's about 480, we should probably get an exact range and get it dialed for there. You don't want to hit him too far back, you know. Yeah, just just off the bush about four inches. Center of the body up and down. Right at the edge of that first moon. Just down and right of his jaw, hun. Good shot. Good shot. He's down and out. That stuff is so sick. Good job. And <sighs> you just don't want to make a mistake on the shot placement. So yeah, that was yeah, good. Just perfect. taking your time. And 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 There's so much hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we just had to talk <laughs> it into exactly the right spot. Yeah. Good job, man. That was good. He's a nice ball too. Oh. Nice is he? Freak. Yeah. Oh, nice man. <laughs> hey. Man. Good job, sister. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, we've been up here for what, two hours? Yeah. And it's just like, there was that little bull, then all of a sudden this bull pops out. I mean, that brush is so thick that who knows how many tar are in there. <laughs> what you think? Oh man. First mountain hunt. First mountain hunt. Couple hours into it. Yeah. Really, I think what we'll do, since it's almost dark, I think Zion said it best, uh, it's really cool tonight, so I think we're gonna wait till the morning get some better light, go up there. We don't want to be tromping around in that bush tonight, probably. Wait till the morning and go we'll get him. Go ahead, bud, I'll catch you on the way down, <laughs> if you need it. Thank you. Just eat. make sure you lean forward. So he should be right here. Oh yeah, here he is. Here he is. He's right here. Where's he at? There he just fell straight into that, into that tree. Well, that ball. He is beautiful. Look at that, eh? This is really unusual. The amount of white he's got on his face. 
that's normally typical of the younger bulls, but he's he's really beautiful bull. Pretty tight there. Good mass. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half years old. Eight and a half. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, we got up here this morning and found our ball. He's a beautiful eight-year-old, eight-year-old ball. You can see the, the growth rings on the horns there. Good mass. He's just a perfect, perfect bush ball, exactly what we're looking for. Beautiful gear. It's the um, 5th of May, so he's got his full winter coat and um, just a perfect ball, exactly what we want. Yeah, well done. Sure. Thank you. He's awesome. Love it. Love it. Just off that little rock perch down there. You know, just spotting last night, we seen some bulls up high and Zion talked us into moving, which ended up being a really good deal. It's hard to shoot uphill from a flat surface because your neck's kinked and, and you can't get the bipod up high enough or the butt end low enough. And so uh, Zion got us on a perfect rest that's kind of had the right slope and uh, yeah, so felt pretty better. good. Yeah. And it was one and done after that. So yeah. uh, you, you wouldn't want those things running 50 yards in this stuff. You'd, you'd you probably have to find it, so. Well, the rain didn't let up back at it this morning hunting the other side of the block and we just get going and we bump a couple stags one of them is giving us the stare down right now we're just gonna let him feed off or move off and then mosey on up Here he comes, son. See the one on the right? The left, I mean, the left. See him in the brush, huh? That's the one on the left, babe. Hit him. Nice shot. Nice shot. Right, nice yep. Whew. <laughs> 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 Got it done. <laughs> this is a bucket list animal. As long as we've known each other, she's always talked about killing one. Yeah. There's three on my list and this guy goes one. <laughs> Let's go get him. I don't know if I've ever been as stressed uh, 
on a hunt is just kind of this last day or two on a, on this hunt, just trying to get in this bush and uh, pull one of these guys out of here. It's been kind of do or die, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's tricky. This morning, we got up, got in here in the dark, walked through some some stuff that we haven't been through before, and ended up back on that on that lower bench. You know, Zion put us in the right place at the right time. We got him coming across this clearing here, and Aaron made a snapshot off some shooting sticks, and one and done. No wasting time. <laughs> there was no time to waste. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> done, uh, done. shout out to the crew at Wilderness Quest, Josiah and, uh, mm -hmm. and Zion, and James, too. And James. I mean, uh, what a good bunch of guys, and fun to be around. Yeah, so. great time. This is the end of a two-week deal that we've been on, and. Mm -hmm. Back to reality. It's sad to go home, but it's got to happen sooner or later. So <laughs> yeah. we're gonna get a few more picks and and hit the road. Hit the road. Get out of here.